YouTube, Mark Kaufman here, and today I have a little bit of a comparison video for you. So I'm going to be comparing this Tinker Small to another Tinker Small that's a little bit older than this one, but first let's get this one dated. I suspect this one to be very early 1980s, maybe possibly 1979. Now the reason why I think that is in the very early 80s, Victorinox was doing away with their nickel silver shields in their handle scales. They were also doing away with the notch at the end of these reamers. So that notch was disappearing in the early 80s. So I'm gauging this one to be probably 78, maybe 79. But what we get here is the aluminum tipped tweezers and that was done away with in 78. So for me, I'm going to guess this one to be probably 78, late, early, maybe 79. So what we have is the Victorinox Switzerland stainless roast fry stamps. And then we have the Officer Suisse with the crossbow on the back. But what we have is the new spear point blade as the pen blade. Now you're probably thinking, well, I've seen those on my knives all the time. Well, in 75, they did away with that and they started producing these spear point blades. Then we also have the I guess squared Phillips here. And this is going to be a squared Phillips with the can key. You can see that slot there. That was to open up cans that had a can key. And if you didn't have the key, you had one here. So this one, I'm gonna say 79. The, the one that I have to compare it to is this one that I just finished cleaning up today. And this one I'm going to say is pre-1975. And this one has the nickel silver shield there. You can see that hint of gold in there. And it has a very similar stamp as to the other one, but there's small, small differences to this stamp that you have to look at under magnification. Then you still have the standard opening mechanisms here. No half stops yet. They didn't introduce those until 1985 on these models, and this one doesn't have it either. So why I think this is pre-75 is because we have the clip blade, and this is what Victorinox ended up doing away with after 1975. They just stopped producing these, and I don't know why. I think it's very attractive, but they stopped uh, production on these blade stamps and they ended up doing that small spear point. Now, the other thing that I have noticed with this one compared to the other one, and I've started to notice it with the nickel silver shielded models, is that the red is more of a tomato matte red. And then the stainless steel ones are more of a fire engine red. And I just don't know if that's gonna come out on camera, but when you take them away from each other, you can kind of see that difference. The one on the left has kind of a matte, kind of tomato red. And then the one on the right has that more fiery, deeper red. And I know this is probably crazy talk, but there's a slight difference there. So I thought you guys would enjoy seeing this difference in these knives. There's very subtle differences here and the other one to look for is going to be in the awl. The awl here on the older models are always going to go further down and almost going to hit the handle. Whereas the 1980s models do not go as far but they still retain that sharpened tip and that is really something you need to look out for. So I thought you guys would enjoy this comparison. If you did, let me know in the comments. And now that I have completed my restoration on this one, this one is now for sale. So if you want it, just shoot me an email. I'll leave it in the description and it can be yours. This one also will be for sale. So if you want that one, it can be yours as well. So thank you guys again. Till the next one, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.